Hello everyone and welcome to East Sun Meadow High School for another edition of Spartans Baseball on LCAT. I'm Colin Casey here to give you the action as the Spartans are hosting the Purple Knights of Holyoke on this Tuesday afternoon. Temperatures in the mid 80s, clouds starting to move in as we approach game time. On the hill for the Spartans is going to be senior Tom Chapdelaine. Chapdelaine has most notable appearance so far this year was that strong performance he had against Cathedral in the 12-5 victory. He went the distance and he had plenty of offense behind him. Catching for Chapdelaine will be Matt Nominico at third, Ben Bonavita at short, Justin Garcia second, Christian Romero, and at first, Tyler Martinelli left to right, Jimmy Stone in left, in center, Dan Richards, and in right, freshman Ryan Lavelle. As we're about ready to get things started. Spartans come into this game at 7-7, seven and seven, winning five of their last seven. Chapdelaine from the windup. And first pitch this afternoon. Misses upstairs for ball one. One oh misses a tad bit inside, two and oh. That one finds his own two and one. That one misses high three and one. Chapdelaine and Lombardo, two seniors who have been the uh, cornerstones of the Spartans rotation so far this year putting up very respectable numbers. That one laced foul off to the right and the count is now full. Payoff pitch from Chapdelaine. And that catches the low corner for strike three. So Chapdelaine leads things off this afternoon with a strikeout. One out. Pitch couldn't have been in a better location. Fastball down and away. Just grabbed the corner. Nice job framing it by Indominico. First pitch with one out in the first is low for ball one. Skies are increasingly getting darker. You have to wonder if there might be some rain coming. That's in there one and one. Chapdelaine delivers. Swing and a miss, one and two. Had him reaching. Offensively, the Spartans have, been, Spartans have been playing extremely well as of late, led by Tyler Martinelli, the first baseman. As that is a fly ball out towards right center field. And it's going to get down. He's turning, he's heading for third, and the throw in gets passed. But a nice job backing up by Chapdelaine. So that's a one out triple for Holyoke, and just like that. They're threatening to draw first blood in the top half of, the, of inning number one. It's a good effort there from Lavelle, but he couldn't quite reel that one in. 
And by the time Richards got that ball in, it was too late. Chaplin from the stretch now as he misses outside, 1-0. Swing and a miss, one and one. Runner at third, one out, top of the first, still scoreless. Off speed pitch is hammered to right. Going back, and it's off the wall. Run will score easily, and it's an RBI double. One nothing Holyoke. So runner on second now with one out and one home in the inning. That was a shot. If that was about three feet farther, that's gone. Fastball in there for strike one. That one's low, count even at one. After getting the first guy out on a K, it actually, I believe he got two strikes on the uh, second batter of the inning, but since then, Chapdelaine's been getting hit pretty hard. Swinging strike one and two. The one, two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Second strikeout of the game for Chapdelaine, and there are two down in the top of the first. First pitch in there, strike one. Chaplin not having too much control issues. I mean, he did start the game falling behind, I believe, 3-0. and Or 3-1, and rather. But since then, he's been able to consistently throw strikes. That ball's fouled off. O2 count, two down in the top of the first. Already one home for Holyoke. Pitch just misses a corner. One and two. Pretty large lead off second. Pitch home is an off speed and a perfect one. So all of Chapdelaine's outs come via the K. However, he does give up a run in the top of the first. Spartans will lead things off in the bottom of the first. They trail one nothing. Today's game is brought to you in part by the Real Estate Market Center, located on North Main Street in East Long Meadow. Whether you are thinking of buying or selling a home, please consider calling Michael Roby at the Real Estate Market Center. About to be in the bottom of the first inning. Spartans trail 1-0 after a sequence of extra base hits from Holyoke. A one-out triple followed by a one-out double has put them out on top as we head to the bottom of the first inning. Christian Romero lead things off for the Spartans. He'll be followed by Justin Garcia. Lays off the first pitch low for ball one.
That's in there, one and one. Line drive, foul off to the right. As raindrops are beginning to fall. Rain's actually, I think, prematurely arriving. I think people expected it to come later. Pitch misses up. Two and two. Ground ball to second. And quickly one away. So that'll bring up Justin Garcia, the shortstop. Interesting way of uh, the Spartans order going the First four guys to hit, all part of the infield. Pitch catches the corner for strike one. Two and one. That one hits the outside corner two and two. Foul off to the right. job of staying alive by Garcia as he fouls off another pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Bottom of the first. Base is empty, one out. Garcia hits a hard ground ball that gets through past third baseman for a one out single. Here's sophomore Ben Bonavita stepping in. As Garcia draws a throw down from the catcher back to first, but he's in safely with a dive. It's outside another throw. Garcia takes off this time, and he's out. It was a great job of digging that throw out at first. And they're now two down. The 2 out of Bonavita. Line drive into right. Couldn't drop quick enough as it's a fly out to end the inning. So Spartans, after getting a single from Garcia, he's then picked off and they go down quietly after winning in a pl inning of play, one nothing Holyoke. This game is also brought to you by Holly's Auto Repair. Full service repairs on foreign and domestic cars and complete auto service. That's Holly's Auto Repair, located on Shaker Road in East Long Meadow. We head to the top of the second. Spartans trail. Purple Knights, one nothing. Tom Chaplin back out for a second inning of work. Gave up a run on two hits and no errors in the first inning. Low strike called, 0-1.
similar location, but Chaplin doesn't get the call this time, one and one. Inside, two and one. Good news for Chaplin is any ball that hasn't been a hit has been a strikeout. But he falls behind three and one here. That misses ball four, so leadoff walk for Holyoke. Sun begins to come back out after a few moments of cloudiness and even some rain. Hopefully that'll be a sign of good things to come for the Spartans. Pickoff move by Chapdelaine, not in time. Button is popped up, caught by Bonavita. He throws on the first, doubles him up. I guess the sun is a good thing, as they're now two down. First pitch from Chapdelaine fouled off. Another foul ball, 0-2. In there, strike three. Fourth strikeout of the game for Chapdelaine, and the side is retired. So after a leadoff walk, Spartans pick up a double play and a strikeout. Head to the bottom of the second. one nothing Holyoke. Looking for the latest news in East Long Meadow? Tune into LCAT News for updates on what's happening inside town government. Up to the minute information on local events and breaking news. Check out LCAT 01028 on YouTube.com or tune in each night at 7 p.m. on channel 191. LCAT News Update for all the news you need to know. Kyler Martinelli set to lead off the bottom half of the second inning. His team trails 1-0. Martinelli's been hitting extremely well as of late against uh, Cathedral. I believe it was last week. He had a very great game at the plate, including a home run and a triple, which amounted to five RBIs as well. It's in the dirt. One and one. Martinelli fouls it off himself, one and two. And time is called. Check swing, 
And he did not go according to the first base umpire, two and two. Sliced foul, two and two still. Pitch misses upstairs, full count. Line drive into right center field and a base hit. Great at bat from Martinelli as he leads things off in the bottom of the second with a single. Matt Domenico showing bunt on the first pitch, called for a strike, a one. He misses on the bunt attempt, and two strikes on him now. Infield a double play depth for Holyoke. Ground ball. Second to one on to first double play. So that's two outs now after the twin killing. And that'll bring up Dan Richards. Strike one. Ground ball to short. Firing on to first, ends the inning. Ahead to the third, still one nothing Holyoke. And don't forget, you can watch our complete lineup of LCAT sports anytime on any device by watching LCAT's YouTube channel, LCAT01028. Subscribe to our page to stay up to date with sports games, meetings, concerts, and town events. All available wherever you are, whenever you want. That's LCAT 01028 at YouTube.com. Top inning number three set to begin here at East Summit High School. You're watching Spartans Baseball here on LCAT. I'm Colin Casey. Spartans trail one nothing after... An RBI double for Holyoke back in inning number one. As Tom Chapdelaine's first pitch of the third is in there for a strike. Ground ball to third. And it's through for a base hit right through the old 5.5 hole. So it's a leadoff single for Holyoke in the third inning. And Minico throws down. Gets back safely. The 1 0. Balled off.
Line down the right field line, foul. Count goes to one and two. Hunter on the move, ground ball. Unable to get two, but they get the sure out at first. So man on second, one out. And Holyoke looking to extend their lead from one to possibly two on a base hit. Chaplin in the stretch. First pitch in the dirt. Inaminico can't find it. And the runner moves up 90 feet. Spartans, if they were to win this game, would move one game above 500. But so far, Holyoke has been out in front since the third batter of the game. Another one in the dirt. Two balls, no strikes. Infield in for the Spartans. Line drive gets past the dive of Romero. The run scores. RBI single for Holyoke, it's two nothing. Off move by Chapdelaine. He's in safely. Fastball low. Last time up, he doubled off the right field fence. That one ripped foul. <laughs> Chaplin steps off. Looks to pick him off once more but can't quite get in quick enough runner on the move that one sliced deep to left a nice running catch made by Jimmy Stone runner retreats to first and they're now two down in the top of the third First pitch is a swinging strike. Runner on first, two down, top three. It's a two nothing Purple Knights lead over the Spartans.
Runner on the move. Throw is high and late as he takes second easily. In the dirt. Two strike pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. And that ends the inning. Fifth strikeout from Chapdelaine. However, he does surrender. Another run. So the Spartans trail 2 nothing after two and a half. Sports fans, stay in touch with all of East Long Meadow High School sports by following us on Twitter using our handle, at LCAT Sports. Two and a half innings in the books so far in this one. Spartans trail two to nothing as they come up to bat in the bottom of the third. Danny Miller batting. First pitch is in there for strike one. He's the uh, designated hitter, I believe, for Chapdelaine. One and one. Ground ball to third. Diving play. Throw on to first, and it's in time. Beautiful play at third base. Robs Miller of a base hit. It's in there for strike one. Strike two. Misses up in the zone, one and two. Off speed inside, two and two. So from 0 and 2, it's down to, or back to uh, full, three and two. And a low strike called as Stone goes down looking. Here's Ryan Lavelle, the right fielder. Ground ball towards short. And it's a 1-2-3 inning as Spartans go down in order. So, we head to the fourth. Esau Meadow trails Holyoke 2 0. If you're a local business owner, you should consider supporting LCAT's coverage of sports here in East Long Meadow by becoming an underwriter of our very popular sports program. Choose from three month packages up to a full year and let our viewers know that you support our teams and LCAT's commitment to share their achievements within the East Long Meadow community. To learn more about how you can become an underwriter with surprisingly affordable introductory packages, contact Sports Director Jamie Rook at 413-525-4220.
here in the top of the fourth inning. It's a 2 0 lead for Holyoke as Chapdelaine heads back out. So far in three innings, he's allowed four hits, two runs, both of them earned. He's walked one, struck out five. And he misses on the first pitch high. As this game's going on, of course, you got the JV game over on the Junior Varsity Diamond, as well as right behind this field, girls lacrosse game taking place. And that is a drive out towards left field, going back. It had the distance, but it was foul. I saw that thing one hop into the shrubbery. One one. He wanted that one. One and two. Beautiful breaking ball, strike three. Sixth K for Chapdelaine, one out in the fourth. First pitch, low and away. And that one's fouled off one and one. Spartans have played extremely well past seven games, going five and two. I believe their losses were to Pittsfield and Aguam. They've gotten some big wins, a couple against Cathedral. I think both of them, they scored 12 runs in both games. And time granted. That one misses low and outside. Count is full. And that misses the dirt ball four and it gets passed. So a one out walk for Chapdelaine. Second one he's surrendered in three and a third innings pitched. Looks to reconvene here. Pickoff move. Runner on first, one out. Top of the fourth, Spartans trail 2 0. That pitch fouled off. A nice bender from Chapdelaine. Puts that 0 and 2.
Ground ball to second. Romero botches it. Runner moves up to third. It's first and third. Still only one out. Still awaiting the first pitch of the at-bat. That catches the corner, 0-1. And that's going to be a Bach on Chapdelaine. So a run scores. And another and the runner at first goes to second, so it's another runner in scoring position. Three nothing to score now. And Coach Wellhand will call time. As he heads out to visit his pitcher. With a three nothing game, as uh, Wellhand talks to the umpire, we'll take a quick break. One out here in the top of the fourth. Spartans trail 3-0 now. <coughs> Chapdelaine throws a curveball that misses just high. I'm not really sure. It looked like that ball at his bat. Yeah, it is a foul ball. Swing and a miss, strike three. The seventh strikeout for Chapdelaine. And there are two out. Spartans look to get out of the jam here, minimize their damage, keep it a three-run game. That misses low. Pop up, shallow left. And Garcia makes the play to retire the side. However, Holyoke picks up another run. They lead 3-0. Today's game is brought to you in part by the Real Estate Market Center, located on North Main Street in East Long Meadow. Whether you are thinking of buying or selling a home, please consider calling Michael Roby at the Real Estate Market Center. We head to the bottom of inning number four. Top of the lineup due up for the Spartans. They've been held scoreless for the first three. They trail three to nothing. Christian Romero here to lead, lead things off. He made a pretty big error back in the uh, previous inning. Ground ball up the middle, could have had double play. Instead, inning continued and they ended up getting a, the Holyoke ended up getting a run off a balk. First pitch misses high. Romero grounded out to second in his first plate appearance. See, he's ahead in the count, 2-0. Oh. That 
That's in there two and one. The Spartans can just get their uh, table setters to reach base. Guys like Bonavita, Martinelli easily have the potential to drive them in. And that's exactly what you need right there. A solid single out to left field as the Spartans pick up their third hit of the game. So here's Garcia. He has one of those three hits. He was then caught stealing back in the first inning. Romero's on the move. Throw is off the mark, and Romero's in easily at second with the stolen base. Swing and a miss. That one misses. Two balls, one strike to count. Spartans look to get on the scoreboard here. And that pitch looked a bit outside, but they called a strike two and two. Two, two. Rough pitch to swing at, but a ground ball hit to short. And Garcia beats it out. Great piece of hitting to hit that ball down and out of the zone and then beating out the uh, infield single. So a pair of singles have the Spartans bringing up that tying run at the plate. The bottom of the fourth inning and that's in the hands of Ben Bonavita. Flew out to right in his first at bat. Shows bunt, pulls back and it's ball one. Bonavia is showing Bunn again. This time the pitch is in there for strike one. On deck the dangerous Tyler Martinelli who's been uh, an RBI machine lately. Throw down to second. The check on Romero is not in time. Count stretches to two and one. Strike two, two and two. Big cut from Bonavita. Good change up there, gets him. And that's out number one. So here's Tyler Martinelli. Fly ball to right. Catch is made. And Romero decides to stay at second. Very smart move there. So it's two out in the fourth as this rally starting to diminish for the Spartans. Here's Matt Domenico, grounded into a double play, his last appearance. As he taps one down the third baseline, foul.
Off speed misses high. One and one. In Dominico out in front of that one, one and two. Fouled off again. That misses a high. Two and two. Outside three and two. So the runners will be in motion with two outs. And met at first and second. Line drive to right. It's a fair ball. Romero scores. Here comes Garcia. He's in standing. And it's an RBI double from Matt Domenico. 3 2. So Spartans out with a tying run at second with two outs in Dan Richards at the plate. First pitch is right down Broadway for strike one. That misses high. Count even at one. Ball in the dirt, it gets passed. Inamitico moves up to third. So a base hit will tie this thing up. Two balls, one strike to count. And Richards fouls that one off to the tennis courts. Two two in there, strike three. Richards goes down looking. So Spartans get a couple of runs back. Three two after four. This game is also brought to you by Holly's Auto Repair. Full service repairs on foreign and domestic cars and complete auto service. That's Holly's Auto Repair, located on Shaker Road in East Long Meadow. Wind starting to pick up as we enter the top of inning number five. Spartans do get a couple of runs back. They still trail three to two. Chapdelaine's first pitch in a number five misses high. Two and oh. That one's in at the knees, two and one. Two, one. Line drive right center field. And that's in the gap and rolling. Cutoff throw gets away. It's a leadoff triple for Holyoke. And 
And as I look into the Spartans' dugout, it appears that Andrew Ayala began to stretch. You have to wonder if uh, Chapdelaine's day is close to being over. Spartans with the infield having their feet on the grass. So they look to cut down the run at the plate, keep it a one run game. First pitch in there for strike one. And he goes around on that pitch, strike two. In there, strike three. Strikeout number eight for Chapdelaine. One out. Wind continues to blow. Three to two the score. Spartans trail. And they just threw a strike on what appeared to be an intentional walk pick. That one's outside. Looks like they're still going to carry out the intentional walk despite that odd strike call. So putting the runner on will give the Spartans a chance at an inning ending double play. So it's runners to the corners, one out, top five. You're watching East Summit of Spartans baseball here on LCAT. Now the risk the Spartans run here is they, they end up putting a guy on, but that brings up the cleanup hitter, so. Ground ball would probably end the inning, but it's a dangerous game that Spartans are playing, being down only one run. Ayala throwing now in the bullpen behind me. 1-0. Just misses, apparently. 2-0. Swing and a miss, two and one. Runner on the move. In Minica wisely hangs on to it. Three and one. That misses ball four. So a pair of walks from Chapdelaine. the And the bases are now loaded with one out. <coughs> I 
I'd assume another base on balls would likely end Chapdelaine's day as I would bring it a run. Swing and a miss, strike one. Velocity sure hasn't slowed down much. Line in the left, and it drops in for a base hit. One run scores, it's 4-2. And that's going to be it for Tom Chapdelaine. Coming in a pitch, it's going to be Andrew Ayala. So as this pitching change takes place, we'll take a timeout. 4-2 with one out in the top of inning number five. New pitcher for the Spartans, Andrew Ayala, comes in. He's in a tough spot here with bases loaded, one out in the bottom, or excuse me, top of inning number five. And swing and a miss, strike one. Spartans trail four to two. It's their offense not showing too many signs of life until last inning, a two run double from Matt and Aminico. Very nice off-speed pitch from Ayala, and he jumps ahead to 0-2. That misses upstairs, 1-2. Ball in the dirt, gets past into Minico. And a run scores. So on the wild pitch, the Spartans fall behind five to two now. So it's first and second, still one out. 2-2 two -two count for Ayala. And he catches a corner there, strike three. Out number two. Ground ball to third, Bonavita bobbles it. But a nice heads up play as he dives to third and picks up the out. So that officially closes the book on Tom Chapdelaine. Spartans now fall behind five to two as they look to kickstart their offense as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Looking for the latest news in East Long Meadow? Tune into LCAT News for updates on what's happening inside town government. Up to the minute information on local events and breaking news. Check out LCAT 01028 on YouTube.com or tune in each night at 7 p.m. on channel 191. LCAT News Update for all the news you need to know. Bottom of the fifth set to begin as the Spartans trail 5-2 against Holyoke. Danny Miller leading things off for the Spartans in his first at-bat. He had rounded out to third on a very nice diving play by the third baseman as he takes a call to strike one. One and one. Once again, the Spartans will be chasing three runs as they gave back the uh, two they scored in the bottom of the fourth. They gave them right back in the top of the fifth. That one catches the corner, two and two. Ground ball to short. Bobbled. 
and Miller beats it out. Great hustle as he reaches on the air. That'll bring up Jimmy Stone. Struck out looking in his first at bat. That was in the third inning as well. And he lays down a beautiful bunt. Perfect sacrifice. Miller almost had the opportunity to take third. No one was covering, but luckily for Holyoke, they reacted just in time. So it brings up Ryan Lavelle, who ground out to short in his first plate appearance. And he takes a called strike one. Swing and a miss, but Miller moves up to third. So Spartans in position to get at least one back here in the bottom of the fifth. Tying run in the on-deck circle to leadoff hitter Romero. Pitch to Lavelle. Ground ball to second. That'll at least drive the run in. Throw on to first is in time, but the Spartans cut the lead 5-3. to three. Back to the top of the order now with two outs and it's Christian Romero. Lays off the first pitch high. Uh, top spin ground ball to first. It's bobbled and he falls down. I think he's hurt though. It looked like his leg might have buckled. He's grabbing at his knee. That's never a good sign. As on the error, Romero moves up to first with two outs. And with the injury, we'll take a quick timeout. We're back here in the bottom of inning number five. Two outs. Christian Romero, the second baseman, at first. Spartans trail five to three. Tying run at the plate. It's Justin Garcia. Garcia, two for two, with a couple of singles. On the moves, Romero. And he's out. Good throw, good tag, and the inning is over. So we head to the sixth. Spartans trail five to three. And don't forget, you can watch our complete lineup of LCAT Sports anytime on any device by watching LCAT's YouTube channel, LCAT01028. Subscribe to our page to stay up to date with sports games, meetings, concerts, and town events. All available wherever you are, whenever you want. That's LCAT01028 at YouTube.com. We enter the top of inning number six. Andrael back out after finishing off the... Last two thirds of inning number five. And his first pitch misses high. Book officially closed on Tom Chapdelaine. Gave up a total of four runs on six hits. Four of them were earned. As he, had, he actually gave up, uh, it's uh, the four that he gave up runs wise, three of those were earned, but. He also had another earned run after he was removed from the game. Also six hits allowed, uh, four walks, struck out eight, and he did have a balk that brought in a run. Ground ball to first, that's through. Well thought about throwing that to Martinelli, but didn't have enough time. So 
so a leadoff single surrendered by Ayala. Strike one there as Inminico couldn't squeeze that one, but luckily no advance. The 0 1. And it won't happen just yet as IL steps off. Spartans have scored three runs in the past two innings as they started to get their offense going as that bunt foul almost hit the Spartans head trainer Diana she drove by on her cart that's in there for strike three nice work from Ayala and there's one gone in inning number six. <coughs> that one misses low and away, ball one. That one finds the zone one and one. I all steps off. He delivers and it misses high. Hey, Al steps off. Being very cautious about the runners here. This is team trails five to three. With one out in the top of the sixth. In the dirt, good stop by Inaminico. Count moves to full. Or excuse me, three and one rather. Foul ball. Held off again. Lengthy at bat here. Ayala steps off once again. About the third or fourth time he's bluffed to first, making sure that runner doesn't get any sort of an advantage here. Three two pitch. Laced foul down the left field line. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Inning number six and a 5 3 lead for Holyoke. Payoff pitch from Ayala in the dirt ball four.
So the Spartans are approaching the uh, heart of the lineup pretty quickly for Holyoke, and they've done some damage all day. First pitch from Ayala is a strike. Ayala bluffs the second. Nice curve in there. Strike two. Another bluff to second. Ground ball, fair. Wasn't hit all that hard, but Inamitico picks it up, gets the out. Runners do advance, but there are now two outs in the inning. And it looks like to be another intentional walk. So they will load the bases with two down. So, bases loaded, two outs. Play at any pace for the Spartans. So they look to keep it a two run lead. And not let this inning explode. Off speed in there for strike one. Good call from Inamenico to throw that. Strike two, looking good right now for Ayala. He's pitched, he's pitched, pitched pretty well. He's had a couple of issues with control. It's in the dirt. Squeaks past in a minute, but not far enough for the runners to advance. The one two. In there, strike three. Great pitching from Andrew Ayala to get out of that jam. And the Spartans head to the bottom of the six, trailing by two. Sports fans, stay in touch with all of East Long Meadow High School sports by following us on Twitter using our handle, at LCAT Sports. Bottom of the six set to begin as it's a two, three, and four hitters for the Spartans. Justin Garcia, Ben Bonavita, Tyler Martinelli. If the Spartans were looking for a home run, this is the inning to get it. And first pitch to Garcia, misses low. 5-3 the score. Spartans getting their runs on a two-run single from Inaminico, or two-run double, rather, from Inaminico, as well as an RBI ground out from Ryan Lavelle. Line drive into center, but right at the center fielder for the first out. So here's Ben Bonavita. <coughs> Play 
And he's out in front of that one, own one. One and one. Curveball gets spun of you swinging on that one, one and two. Bonavita flew out to right in the first and struck out swinging in the fourth. He lays that one off downstairs. Two and two. Make it three and two. One out here in the bottom of the sixth. Great take from Bonavita, and he reaches on a one-out walk. Believe it or not, that's actually the first walk the Spartans have taken in this game. And Martinelli lays off the first pitch for a strike. He represents a tying run in. He does have a home run earlier this year against Cathedral. Two run shot against a team in purple. And Bonavita, he's heading to third. And he now he heads back. He thought better of it. Nevertheless, Bonavita does advance a base. That was some smart base running. One and one. Two and one. Fouls it off his leg. Two and two. On deck, Matt Nominico. He has two RBIs in this game. Fouled off. <laughs> two two yet again with Bonavita on second, one out. Fouled off again. He's just been fouling off pitches. Hopefully he'll get a straight fastball. He'll be able to drive that into a gap. And he strikes out, but it's dropped. Bonavita's trapped between third and second. He's going on the drop third strike, and he's tagged out between second and third. He waited too long. If he had gone back to second, perhaps he would have been safe, and so would have Martinelli. But nevertheless, the Jordan is back in the situation they started in that at bat. Right around second, two outs now. Here's in Dominico. Takes the first pitch for a called strike. Pop up. Shallow center field. And that's going to end the inning. So we head to the seventh. It's a 5-3 ball game. If you're a local business owner, you should consider supporting LCAT's coverage of sports here in East Long Meadow by becoming an underwriter of our very popular sports program. Choose from three-month packages up to a full year and let our viewers know that you support our teams and LCAT's commitment to share their achievements within the East Long Meadow community. To learn more about how you can become an underwriter with surprisingly affordable introductory packages, contact Sports Director Jamie Rook at 413-525-4220.
Head of the final inning, top seven. Andriella back out. It's pitched an inning and two thirds so far, allowing a run that was not earned. Belonged to Chapdelaine. And he looks to keep it a two run lead to go to the bottom half. And he blows a fastball by him for an 0 1 count. Good job waiting on that. It's a fly ball towards left center. Stone tracking it. And he makes a nice catch. One out. So, one out. Holyoke looking to extend their two-run lead. If the lead holds, Chapdelaine will pick up the loss. So he's gone four and a third innings. Six hits allowed. Four runs allowed. Uh, walked four. Struck out eight. Ground ball to Bonavita. Handles it. And throw on to first is in time. Two away. First pitch is in for strike one. Ayala doing a nice job throwing strikes here in the seventh. Spartans two up next inning. It's Inamenico Richards Miller. Curveball fouled off strike two. O2 count. Ground ball to first. Nice play by Martinelli in a very quick inning for the top of the seventh. We head to the bottom half of the seventh. Spartans need two to tie, three to win. Bottom of the seventh, Spartans down two. Richards, Miller, Stone, the three do up this inning, six, seven, eight. Dan Richards 0 for 2 with a ground out and a strikeout. Ground ball to second. And it's a one pitch out to begin the bottom of the seventh. Here's Miller. That's in there, strike one. Miller, ground out to third, reached on an error. One and one. That catches the corner, one and two. Miller out in front of that one. Still 1 2. Ground ball up the middle. Nice play at short. And that's out number two. So Spartans down to the last out. It's in the hands of Jimmy Stone. Should he reach base, Ryan Lavelle in the on deck circle. First pitch in there, strike one. Five three Holyoke leads. Bottom of the seventh, two outs. Line drive to center. It's an Adam ball, and that's the ball game. So Spartans, in the end, hit a lot of line drives, but they were right at guys. 
Final score, Holyoke gets the victory 5-3 over the Spartans. Spartans drop to 7-8 on the season as they have now lost three of their last four. So once again, I'm Colin Casey. You've been watching Spartans Baseball on LCAT. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.